Hi everyone, in the previous video, we had tried to understand each and every column which are present in this data set. From this uh, video onwards, we will try to prepare our data for the data analysis part. Now, we will be checking is there any missing data present in our data frame. What this line of code is doing is, it is checking is there any null values present in this data frame. This is the syntax how we check if there is any uh, null values present in our data frame or not. Okay, the like I have already executed, we are getting true. That means there are null values present in our data frame. Okay, I will just clear this. Now I want to see what are those what are those columns which have which are having null values. So I'm just taking is null function and I'm just giving sum. I just want all the column details. So as you can see, country is having 488 null values. Agent is having uh, 16,340. Company is the one which is having maximum number of null values. What is it implies if an agent column is having null? That means probably the booking was done directly. We can go ahead and replace all these null values with zero. Okay, fill na is a method which replaces null values with zero. In place true means we are doing it directly in our data frame. Okay, we can go ahead and run this query. It got executed. Now I'm just checking the same query. As you can see here, I'm just checking what are the null values present now. After executing this line of code, I want to recheck one more time. I'm just executing it. Now you can see there are no null values. So now we got rid of null values present in our data frame. One more thing, whatever the changes you do in Python, it will not be reflected in our um, main data set that is Excel file, sorry, .csv file. It is only applicable in this Python notebook, that too in that data frame. One more thing which we saw was while seeing mail unique values, we saw that undefined and SC means no breakfast. So instead of having two different rows, why can't we just uh, replace one of the names? So that is what we are doing. We are replacing undefined with SC. Again, we are doing it in the same data frame. Okay, let's execute this. It got executed. Now I want to check what are the unique values present under this meal column. Unique is for, used for checking the all the unique um, values okay now we got rid of this undefined um, different row as well so we can see only four different mail type further going ahead i just wanted to ex uh, explain this what uh, the next line of code is doing if you can see here there is id one two three four five five different ids adult column is having zero that means no guest Children is 0, babies is 0, total guests are also 0. That means, can we say this column is a valid uh, data? No, right? This is not valid data, like valid data row. Same thing with this. This is also not valid. What we can do in our data preparation stage, we can actually delete this um, we can actually go ahead and delete these rows. Okay. But look at this. 4 and 5 is having adult 1 and then children 1. This is valid data set. Like valid row. And this is also valid. Either one uh, can be having 0. But not all these 3 columns. Because this is the columns which are indicating the number of guests uh, checked into our hotel. Okay. Now let's go ahead and see, see our next line of code. Okay, we are back. Now, this is the line of code which is checking in this data frame 
I'm just creating the subset from this uh, data frame. I'm just checking is children is equal to equal to zero and adults is zero and babies is equal to zero. Then only store that data frame into this subset. So let's go ahead and execute this. It got executed. Now in this subset, I'm only uh, taking adults, babies and children. Let's see. Can you see it is 0, 0. All these are having zeros. Um, all these are having value equal to 0. So the total number of um, like invalid entries is 180. So now I am going to delete all this 180 rows. Now I am just doing the same thing but in this case if you see I'll just write one more just data frame okay now let's see I, I will be storing the same values but either it will be true or false okay the same same code as here but if you look at the beginning I'm just taking the entire data frame like the uh, call no sorry not column the row row okay but in this case I'm only uh, will be storing it as true or false that is the reason I have not given here df. If you see here, I have taken the entire data frame. Okay, let's go ahead and execute this line. Now, before running that, let's take the type of delete. It is having series. Um, this is the data type. If you want to print that, you can just print this. Okay. Either it will be false or true. What I am trying to do in this uh, line of code, I am just negating delete. Wherever there is false, it becomes true. Only that uh, data will be store, stored in this uh, data. So, let's go ahead and execute this. Okay, we have applied it on our data frame, main data frame. Okay, that is the reason the data will be having the entire date like call row. Now you can just go ahead and see the top five rows. Okay, now you can see. Okay, we can go ahead and execute this one. See if there is any. Hopefully, it should not be wrong place I entered. Let me enter here. Plus. Let me print the entire. Okay, this is uh, the main data frame. What is the uh, place we stored our data? This is the one. So let, let's go ahead and change this a bit. Let's execute. Okay, now we can see it's not having any data with this invalid record, like invalid values. Okay, now let's see the shape of the data, like how many data set we have removed. 180, if I remember correctly, is here, 180 rows. This is the value that I have used here. This is the total um, count when we have checked in the beginning. You can go ahead and check from your end as well. So, this is the exact count. I am just running it to check how many number of records we deleted. It is 180. Now we can say that we are done with basic preparation of our data. These are something which I found out. If you can, if you find out something, some missing data or uh, invalid data present in our data set, you can go ahead and do the cleaning process. And please also do let us know if you can find some uh, misinformation present in our data set. 
Thank you so much. We will continue in our next video.